welcome to this testing basics which is all about loafers which are 100% one of the most requested things that I test out for this series um, I love loafers so I was really glad to do it and I have enjoyed doing it very much so at this point I have nearly actually finished filming this video I have been wearing the shoes over the past couple of weeks so this section will not be first impressions it's just going to be how much they were, um, sizing, what they look like, things like that basically, how they fit. And because I filmed this like two weeks ago, my fringe is going to disappear in the next section. Continuity is a little bit off with this video, so sorry about that guys and the changing hair. But yeah, we're just going to have to go with it. So as always, five pairs here from high street to high end and I'm going to start at the cheapest pair which are these from New Look. All of the shoes in this video are real leather, that was something that I wanted to keep as a standard so that we were giving a decent test for all of them. If any of you guys are vegan or anything like that I will try and find some faux leather loafers and just pop a few options in the description box but for the ones that I am testing today they are all real leather. The first pair are from New Look, these were £39.99, not that bad for some leather shoes I don't think. Um, what I like about these is the colour, I think it's a really nice colour and makes them a good pair of summer shoes that you can transition through as well. Um, what I don't like about them is the shape pretty much. They kind of feel a little bit shapeless, like they don't have very much structure to them. It's just sort of over this front part and I think it's made worse by how narrow this buckle section is. It seems to float in the space on the shoe rather than take up a better width and make it look much more masculine and yeah, I actually feel like the, the size of the buckle more than anything else cheapens these shoes and makes them look a little bit cheaper. Sizing wise, I went with my usual size which is a UK 7 European 40. Oh, these have left and right written on the bottom of them as well so that's handy possibly, maybe not. Next we have Topshop. Now these, which style are these because there's more than one style. I think these are called the Carter. There is also the Kendall. It will be written in the description box exactly which ones these are. These were £62 and I'm just going to show you the difference that I think the buckle makes in comparison to the new look ones. I just think it makes it look much more masculine and better essentially having a much wider and bigger buckle and I think when you see the two side by side you can also see the difference in the shape um, and this is a much more square toe and just generally I think like it looks a bit better these are quite wide fitting again as you might be able to see there the sizing of these is really quite weird um, so I ordered them online and got a size 40 which I normally am in Topshop, I find Topshop fit true to size, they were way too small, they were going to really really pinch my toes, then I went and tried these in a 41, so the UK 8 and these, I ended up going with these ones but they still kind of pinch my toes but my foot falls out the back because of how wide the shoe is. But in terms of how they look, I think they look really, really great. I do love the slightly squared off toe. Moving on through there, we have a pair from Utaque. These were £90. There are these leopard print ones, which are all leather and then with like a pony skin, fur, hair, whatever, over the top. Uh, the first thing I love about them is how dark the leopard print is. It makes it a little bit less garish than leopard print sometimes can be. And I think these are going to be great to carry in through like darker colour palettes as we go into autumn and winter. Sizing, I got these in a 40. They are very skinny fitting but they fit me really really nicely. Um, I am a small size 7 so if there was like a 6.5 and, and a 7.5 and available I'd go for the 6.5. Um, if you would go for the 7.5 then maybe think about sizing up in these because they are very narrow fitting. The length of them is fine but it is definitely how slim fitting they are. So just try to bear that in mind if you are going to order these. I think these look absolutely great. I love the shape of them due to the skinniness. They kind of make a masculine shoe look quite feminine by being relatively dainty and things like that. Um, so yeah, these do get a really good thumbs up on looks. And for me personally, sizing is great as well. Next up, these are from Jigsaw. These have been gifted to me. These are the only shoes within this video that have been gifted. So thank you very much Jigsaw for sending me these. I'm a big fan of Jigsaw clothes and shoes. So these are no exception. I absolutely love how these look. These are £149. They fit perfectly. Very, very good sizing. They are re really, really true to size. 
Um, yeah, big thumbs up in terms of fit. They're also available in black. These are the kind of a bit different to the others because they don't have any buckle on them. But I wanted to try something that was super minimal but still a loafer style. They also come up much higher on the foot than any of the others do, which you may or may not like. It depends what kind of style you're after, but these do come up a lot higher and they have this split here. Um, but yeah, I think they look absolutely great, really. Still very masculine, um, very, very simple, but the shape of them makes them interesting enough and they look great on the foot too. So this was Jigsaw, £149, true to size. And finally, I couldn't do this video without talking about the Gucci loafers, the kind of shoes that really started my obsession with loafers. Um, those, well, I'm sure you all know, if you've watched any other one of my videos, you'll know that I have another pair of Gucci loafers, which is a slingback pair that I've had for quite a long time. So these are kind of going to get an unfair advantage because I can also comment on how they were, wear long term, whereas the other ones I can't give you that information on. Um, so as I already had a black pair, I went with this red pair. I love the colour, it's kind of a dusty red and I've been finding it very, very versatile as well. The Gucci loafers fit perfectly true to size, 100% go for your own size in these. Um, they're quite a slim fitting shoe, that would be something to bear in mind. If you have very wide feet, you might struggle with these and be better going for the backless pair. They're available in tons of different colours, backless, kangaroo fur in the bottom of them. They now do ones with a step down back, so you can wear them either way as well. Um, yeah, they're really great shoes. Get the rubber sole put on, I will talk about this in more detail, but the, they have leather soles, so they wear down very quickly, and they're also slippery, and they're little death traps if it's been raining outside, so get a rubber sole put on them. Um, these are £490, a big jump up from the others. They are very high end, I think, for a pair of flat shoes, um, but equally, if you're going to invest in some designer shoes, you actually do want some that you can wear every single day and going off my past experience with the Gucci loafers cost per wear wise you can do pretty well with these and really get that down and um, so yeah that was Gucci true to size £490 okay that is all of the shoes so now we're just going to go back in time to a non-fringed version of me um, and you know how it goes, I'm going to be showing you the outfits that I wear them with every single day, reporting on if they've been comfortable, what I think about them, and then at the very end we'll sit down and go through my final reviews of all of these shoes. Good morning everybody, it's day one of this testing basics of loafers. Today's Friday and I've got a really long day ahead, it's about half ten now. Sorry, Harry's ironing just there, if you knew what that noise was. Um, it's about half ten now, I'm just nipping out. And then I'm going to London on the half three train and then I'm going to a friend's house to for dinner. So I'm going to be eating these shoes for a really, really long time. These ones are the new look ones. It's a pretty slobby outfit because of just what I've got on today. I've got them on with some vintage Levi 501s and a black blouse from Urban Outfitters. My first impression of these is that I don't really like how they look that much, but they are, they fit, I think they're going to be quite comfortable because it's quite a soft leather and it's not got really stiff edges around the shoe or anything so I'm hoping that they're going to be comfortable and I think they're going to look better once they've been worn a little bit in a crease and just a bit softened in and um, yeah better than they look now but I do really like the colour they're kind of a nice one for summer definitely and a good transitional sort of shoe. Okay guys I've just been out for a walk and got back in and these shoes are rubbing me on both ankles like we're well, looking closer here can you see where this bit is kind of folding um, down a little bit just here. So I'm going to give up on them for the day because I really don't fancy going to London with sore feet. Like I've got two small blisters but if they get any worse as well all the shoes are going to become uncomfortable then. Because they did feel really really comfortable at first but that is rubbing me um, and I've got two little blisters. So not the best start for New York but um, you know sometimes shoes do start off uncomfortable and you manage to break the back of them a little bit so I will. Good morning guys it is um Saturday now and today I am wearing the Gucci loafers um but yeah before we get into this outfit I just have, want to update you on something so yesterday as you know I took off the new look ones and didn't come down to London in them I came down in some sandals and then when I got into London it was raining and I only have the two other pairs of loafers I'm testing over this weekend with me so I thought, right, I'll put on the Topshop ones just to go to my friend's house because I was just getting on the tube and going to my friend's for some dinner rather than um, have sandals on and get wet feet. But sadly, the Topshop ones have also given me a blister and I don't know how much of it is because I was already a bit sore on the back of my heels from the new look ones 
or how much is just down to the Topshop ones. They have given me like a new blister on the other side of my heel. So that was really annoying and I'm hoping, oh, I'm going to give the Topshop ones a go tomorrow again anyway. Put loads of Compede blister plasters on and see if that makes it any better. Um, but yeah, so they have had a little bit of a test. Their full test is going to come tomorrow because it's only for a couple of hours I had them on. So yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed about it because now the backs of my heels are really sore and so it's going to be really hard for all of the shoes to feel comfortable. However, I've got the Gucci ones on today. I just pop a cuss wave my full outfit on here. I have on my long shirt from ASOS and my ASOS jeans actually as well. This is but yeah, Gucci ones today, I've got one blister plaster on just where one bit of skin was really sore. The rest, the blister on the other foot, these don't feel like they're catching as much at all. So they already feel way more comfortable. Like I slipped my feet into the top shop once this morning and was like, oh sweet Jesus Christ, I can't do this. Okay, please excuse how I'm minging out right now. I was just sat watching the Jungle Book. As you can see here, I realised that I hadn't um, filmed like the end of the day Gucci shoe bit. So I've had them off for a while. It's like 10 o'clock now. Um, I think I took these off properly probably about 6 o'clock so I've had them on for a long time. Um, they've been really, really, really comfortable, especially to say that the back of my heels are bloody sore. Um, I wasn't struggling at all at the, these days, I wasn't in pain at all. Um, downside is that they have scuffed, as you can see quite badly here. I think that will come off with a proper um, cloth and a bit of polish. But I mean, I don't know if I walk really strange and scuff my feet all the time, but when shoes like have this black bit here and they're not a black shoe, um, if you scuff, you know, the back of your heel with the front of your other toe, then it just marks it really badly. So that is where that's come from. I always, always, always scuff shoes in this way if they are a coloured shoe. Um, uh, so yeah, I do think that will come off. It actually looks worse on camera than it does in real life. The thing about these is that they wear down really, really quickly on the tips of the toes, as you can see here. So normally I would immediately, as soon as possible, go and put a super thin rubber sole put on. You can just do that at any cobblers. But for the purpose of the video, I thought I would wear them to show you guys how, let me put it flat here, to show you guys how quickly it wears down. So this has just been one wear. But you can imagine that they will really, really quickly wear down to quite a serious degree um, if you don't put rubber sole on. So this is the last time I'm going to be wearing them without rubber sole. I think I need to get that sorted. But do bear that in mind. Um, you spend this much money on a shoe that is an everyday shoe like this. It's a good thing to do anyway because it's just going to make them last much longer. And you can just get it replaced every now and then. I've not, but I've got one of my other Gucci loafers and I've never replaced it. So good morning, guys. Um, it's Sunday and I think we're a little bit wonky here, so sorry about that. But I'm braving the Topshop loafers today, and the place that they're rubbing me is literally this section inside the shoe, and it's just catching me really, really badly. I've got a big blister plaster on. I'm going to just see if it break, if they break it in a little bit at or at all um, because I want to give them a bit more of a go. Outfit wise I'll just pop in a cutaway here. I've got on a great t-shirt from Cost, some new ASOS clock. Um, I love how the, the Topshop ones look. I think they look better than the new look ones. I don't think they look as good as the Gucci ones because the Gucci ones have got a more feminine shape to them. Um, but they do look really great but we're just going to see how it goes. Um, comfort wise. Right, I've just got back in and straight away put my comfy pants on. Um, time is now 20 to 7. I didn't travel home in the Topshop shoes because they have literally made my feet bleed. Like, they have been bloody awful. So, I don't know how much of it is because the new look ones have made my feet sore already. But these have absolutely, like, wrecked my feet so badly. Um, just yeah, well, they've made me bleed, so that's how badly it's been. So I had to come home in some sandals. Also, the colour of this suede inside stains your foot as well, so that's not great. So I've got like a weird orange tinge all around the back of my heels. Just so many blisters. They have been so, so, so uncomfortable. Um, and yeah, even though the new look ones did do the initial, -ish, initial blisters, these have given me some extra ones to enjoy as well. So I'm thoroughly unimpressed with these. If any of you guys have these shoes and know they're quite a popular shoe and find them really comfortable, please do leave that in the comments for other people to see because I don't know how much of this is because the new look ones hurt me already, but the Gucci ones, you know, had the same thing to deal with and they were not uncomfortable at all and didn't make me bleed, so. So I just thought I'd quickly update you all while I'm making my toast. 
At the moment, I just feel like I can't give you guys proper reviews of any of the shoes going forward because of how sore the backs of my heels are because they're just anything with a closed back is uncomfortable. Like I had some Ugg boots on yesterday to nip outside and they hurt. So um, there's no hope for anything else basically. So I'm just gonna give it a week's break and let the backs of my heels get a little bit better and then continue from there and hopefully be able to give you a bit of a better review of them but it's quite frustrating and obviously the new look and the Topshop ones I hold responsible for this. Hey and everybody, so I've been back wearing the loafers and I've had a haircut since I last seen it. I've had a fringe cut in so lots of change um, but yes today I have been wearing the Utaque loafers again. My feet are still a little bit sore but they're much much better so definitely fine to try things out again. Um, these have been pretty comfortable. They've ever slightly rubbed here on the outside edge of the shoe, but not too much, and I'm confident that will stop as the shoes give a little bit more. I've had these on all day pretty much, and they've been absolutely fine. So yeah, I really, really, really like these. They look great, nice and skinny, everything like that. Big thumbs up. I have just had them on with the Gap jumper and some ASOS jeans, um, and I've just popped the cutaway in so you can see the full outfit. But yeah, really, really, really impressed with these and yeah, good, 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 good. They've been up against a big task with my sore feet and they have passed. So and I think they'll only get comfy with time really. I do think that they're going to give more and more. So today I have been wearing the Jigsaw loafers. I had them on this morning around the house. I've just been out in them now and done a little bit of walking. Um, these are really, 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 really comfortable. My heels are still still a little bit sore and um, these have definitely had an advantage on the others well on the especially on the Gucci and the Utaque which didn't give me new blisters because my heels have healed heels have healed up a little bit um, but they are super 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 comfy the leather is just giving in a really nice way as you can see when I'm squishing it and um, the edges aren't too hard or anything like that so I'm massively impressed with these and I think they look absolutely great I've just been wearing them with a top and jeans, both of which I got from Zalando. The top is from a brand called M by M, and the jeans are by Waven. And then I also put on a jacket that Jigsaw sent me, which is the grey version of the black one, the compact wool jacket it's called, that I wear all the time. So thank you for being so generous, Jigsaw, as well. And yeah, these are getting a big thumbs up so far just because they've been super comfortable today. And we're on to the final bit of this video. It feel like it's taken me a lifetime to film this, but now we're on to the final reviews and the favourite section. Okay, so on to the final section of this video, and I'm just going to get straight into it and start with my least favourite. Unsurprisingly, I am so torn about which one to put in last place between the New Look ones and the Topshop ones. So, firstly, I prefer how the Topshop ones look then that means that they're better but they hurt me more than the new look ones did so they're worse but then they're more expensive than the new look ones which makes them even worse because they're both uncomfortable and I don't think I wouldn't recommend buying either of them really but I don't think that these are worth more money than these ones so but then I don't like how these ones look and they're uncomfortable so, so they're kind of very equal in the last place obviously they both rub my feet. These rub my feet so badly. They're just a really not a great fit at all. Um, these just rubbed not as badly, but I really didn't like how these looked either. So, next up, I'm going to go with the Utaque ones. Um, honestly, the next three pairs, I really would recommend all of them, and I love them all. But these ones were probably the most uncomfortable out of the three pairs, but there really isn't much in it. And obviously, as I said so many times, my feet were sore because of the top shop and the new look ones. So if you didn't have blisters when you were wearing these, you might not have any issue at all. Um, the other thing with these is that quite a lot of threads coming away from the side. Can you see that I've just pulled, pulled off a bit here? There's more coming off here. Um, and that's not very impressive. So that kind of makes me a bit, mm, or maybe how the quality of these are. But other than that, the quality does seem to be really really great. I think they're a great shoe at a really good price point. At £90, just under £100 is a good price for an everyday shoe but 
Yeah, there is quite a lot of thread coming off actually. So I'm kind of going in price order here, which isn't intentional, but the next ones are the Jigsaw loafers. I absolutely love these shoes. I love how they look. I think they're a really nice style of loafer. Without the um, horse bit or the buckle, they look really great. Um, super minimal, very masculine, but they look quite dainty on the foot, which is, if you've got quite big feet like me, is a big, big plus point as well. These were so, so comfortable, really just no problems at all with these. They didn't hurt, they didn't open any old blisters, nothing, they were just super comfy. And I just think they look really, really great. So these are £149, I do also think that's a good price point for an everyday shoe. They're kind of wintry these, so I think you could buy them now and transition them through into the um, autumn, winter and things like that. So next up was Jigsaw. And then in first place was the Gucci loafers. Nothing was going to ever beat these. I knew when I started these were going to be my favourites. And while there are some downsides to these, and they don't actually have any negatives for the jigsaw ones, but I do have a couple for these. It's just the overall style and what I think they bring to outfits. And just, I just love these shoes so much. They just, I love wearing them so much. So that outweighs any negatives the negatives would be that you have to get them sold actually it's not a negative because it's going to make your shoes last longer anyway so it's kind of good that you have to do it um, and the other one would be that they scuff where's the one with the scuff here we go this scuff here this won't happen if you get the black pair at all and i think i mentioned in the video i don't know how much that is down to me walking in a very clumsy way or something um, but yeah obviously the leather is going to mark a little bit in this color so the positives are that they are so incredibly comfortable knowing how the other pair that i have have worn in the long run and i've worn those shoes so much these wear in beautifully they get softer and softer they look better and better as they get a little bit battered up they just look so great um cost per wear is absolutely fabulous you are getting your money's worth of these because you can wear and wear and wear and wear them i think they go with everything the shape of them none of the others I mean, maybe the Utrecht ones would be the closest similar shape, but there's just something about the shape of the Gucci ones, and I don't know what it is, I can't place it, but there is just something that makes them look so elegant and just so chic. I love these shoes so much. You guys ask me so many questions about them, and the answer to it always is yes, I would 100% recommend buying these shoes. They're a great, great investment piece. Okay, so that was everything. I think there's going to be no surprises with the fact that Gucci ones have come first. All of the other shoes were up against one hell of a task to even stand a chance in beating my love for those because I just loved them so much. And they were also the ones that I wore on the day my feet were the most sore after having worn the um, Topshop ones that evening. And they were perfectly comfortable. So massive thumbs up in terms of comfort as well. Okay. I'm sort of losing my voice for some reason. Um, but yes, that's the end of this one. I don't know what topic to do next. I'm thinking maybe white shirts, but let me know if that would be one that you're interested in or any other suggestions for what you want me to test out next. I think this is going to be the next one, will be the last one that is kind of a little bit summery, transitional before you start moving into the autumn winter things, which is very exciting. I get so many questions about am I going to continue this and do like coats and jumpers and boots. Yes, 100 million thousand percent. That is what I'm most excited to do. I cannot wait to test out those. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see next and thank you very much for watching.